Hello everyone, my name is Matthew, and this will be a review of the, partially of the tablet here, as you see, but mostly of where I got it, and that would be Ally Express. Uh, usually I try to do more polished videos than this, but I'm a little pressed for time today, so this will have to do, and I appreciate everyone's patience with that. Now the reason I'm doing this is because Ally Express, it's a marketplace. It's like other marketplaces, they allow vendors to come in and sell. And I would have to put it on the rank of, uh, let's put it somewhere around Wish.com. Now Ally Express itself is, uh, think of it as an English version of Alibaba.com. And they sell various items. Now some of them seem pretty good. You can get some decent stuff sometimes there. You know, just cheap little knickknacks. But when it comes to electronics, uh, well, that's a whole other story. And there are people out there who are probably already thinking, yeah, I know where this is going. This is, this is not going to go well. And they're right, it's not. See, I bought this. Now, I want you to notice that it was supposed to be an 11 inch tablet. It is not. It is a 10 inch tablet. Being that it is not anywhere close to what I was offered and I purchased, I contacted them. And what did they say? Well, I hope you can read this, and I'm going to try to focus it so that you can. Here's what they said. Friend, the product matches the description. Friend, yeah, this is Alibaba translation. And... No. It doesn't match. Because, here was the first thing that they said. The product is our own brand. Don't mistake other brands. The price difference between this tablet and the Xiaomi tablet that was offered, the price difference is considerable. That they were right about. But now, here's something I would like you to keep in mind. My friend, you need to pay the return freight. It is very expensive. It is not cost-effective to return. $15 refund, the product is left for use. How about? $15. <laughs> uh, for what I paid for it? No. No, $15 isn't going to cut it. So I sent them back $60. Then it is done. Too many, up to $20. That's it. Now, I go on to explain that I ran a program on this tablet, and its specs did not meet up anywhere near what it was supposed to be. Their response was, we are always accurate. No. The product is at the best price. I also said something about the cameras, and they said it takes good pictures. It does not. It just doesn't. Then they said this. Buyers get it to post office by themselves. We have arrived in your country by free shipping. And there you see Alibaba Translate. I told them, I have a screenshot of your sales page that says free returns. You need to contact the logistics and send it back. We don't charge any fees. You need to pay the return fee. This is what they said. And they were serious about it. They wanted to make sure that I paid the return shipping. But what was the ad? Well, give me a moment and I will show you exactly what the ad was. 
This is the ad page. And as you can see, the video there seems to be working really well. Good sized tablet, excellent smooth graphics. But notice the left-hand side where the USB-C plug is. That's important that it's there. Because that is a Xiaomi tablet you are looking at. The demonstration video is for that. And this is what they offer. Xiaomi Pad 5 Pro. If you look it up, it is an impressive tablet. 11-inch 4K Samsung screen. Snapdragon 845. 12 gigs of RAM with 512 gigs of uh, ROM. And Android 11. That's really good. We scroll up a little bit here. New Snapdragon. Four screen, 4K screen, global tablet, Snapdragon 845, and you see all those things that are there. Now we scroll up a little bit more. Specifications. Mainland China. Xiaomi. Now remember, when I showed you the texts, it said that this was their own brand, and not to confuse it with another brand. But here it says compatible brand, but, well, anyway. Yes, Type-C, Android 11, 10-core tablet. And we get all of that, and that's on the description. Oh, but there's more. There's always more. Because there's a lot going on here. A whole lot going on here. Because here they're showing you bits and pieces about it. And this is for the Xiaomi tablet. But there's something here that I want you to take notice of. And remember, they said they we're going to have me pay to ship it back to China. Package included. And you see a bunch of stuff there that the package included, one-year warranty, and... Oh, look at that! Free return. And I told them I had a screenshot of this, and I do. They didn't listen. They didn't care. So you see what is offered, what they say is offered. It's supposed to be a Xiaomi tablet. It is supposed to be 11 inch. And it's supposed to have several other things that, well, let's face it, it doesn't have. If you take a look at the picture there, you'll notice the camera set up on the back. Keep that in mind, too. So, what kind of tablet are we dealing with here? Well, let's take a look at it. Yes, it's got a lot of fingerprints on it at the moment. It is a 10-inch tablet. Now, remember the camera setup? Look at that camera setup. It does not take great pictures. Mobile internet device with Android. That's it. It doesn't say Xiaomi on it anywhere. But let's start it up, shall we? So let's start this thing up and see what happens. I'll reach over here, press the power button, and... Oh, look at that! It says Xiaomi. Huh. That's interesting. Xiaomi. Now, they said there wasn't Xiaomi. So... I'm not supposed to mistake their personal brand for Xiaomi, but this says Xiaomi. That's how you spell it. What would that be doing on here? Well, my best guess, and I'm thinking I'm pretty right on this. Let me enter my passcode. Okay. 
My thinking on this is that it says Xiaomi because this is either a sub-company that works with Xiaomi, or they're just using Xiaomi's programming. There it is. I got to enter my passcode again. There we go. And that's the tablet. But what kind of performance would we get on this? Well, here's a program right here. It's an app. It's called CPU-Z. See? CPU-Z. Go down here and close that. CPU-Z will give you information mostly based on the software of your tablet or device. You can put it on your phones, too. Snapdragon 845, okay, got that right. 28 nanometer, got that right. Adreno 640. Okay, let's go up here to device. Here we go. MePad. Not Xiaomi anymore. MePad. 10.1 inch screen. Now here it says 2560 by 1600. That is a 4K screen. 320 DPI. And uh, about 11.5 gigabytes of memory. At about that the system, and you'll notice that it's a little bit slow, or maybe a whole lot slow, I don't know. So let's get out of that. But see, CPU-Z is a fine app, but it works off the software. Now this one is called Hardware Info. It works off the hardware. So what do we got here, MePad? Android reference, get the glare out of the way. Bootloader is unknown. Okay, let's go over here to system. Uh, knee pad, yeah, all of that, yeah. Interactive cores. Okay. Memory. TikTok. Uh, this is an ad, and I'm actually glad this popped up when it did. Look right there in the corner. Now, wait a minute. There's only half of that X. Why is there only half of the X button to close this out? Why is half of it running under the bezel? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Actually, yes, it does. It does quite a lot. Makes sense. And let's see if we can find what I'm looking for. There's the resolution 1280 by 800. Refresh rate 65 megahertz. 1280 by 800, that's just barely in the range of high definition. It's not even a 1080p panel. And these days, having a 1080p panel, even really cheap tablets have a 1080p panel. So this is a low-resolution panel. It's running low-resolution with a small refresh rate. And I tend to think that this one is correct, because remember the little X up in the corner? Yeah. That X up in the corner shows that the software is not scaling correctly for the panel. Now, why wouldn't it scale correctly? And the answer is what I said. They are using Xiaomi software 
Whether Xiaomi is aware of it or not, they are using Xiaomi software. But it's not a Xiaomi pad. Now, I've downloaded some games and other things, but I'm not going to get into them. It's not worth it. This is Voodoo, and if you're not familiar with it, it is a streaming service where you can buy movies and save them to your library, and it's got a lot of free stuff, too. I use it a lot. Oops! It stopped. Oops! Stopped again! It keeps stopping! Huh. Let's close the app. Voodoo's not the only app that doesn't work on this system. I was going to download the game Genshin Impact, which is a new game. It will not work with this system. Now, I've downloaded some other games just to try it out and see what it would do. And it will run some of them, but it will run them only on the absolute lowest settings possible. Otherwise, it won't work with this system. And there's a number of other apps that will not work with this system. Now, I didn't buy this for gaming. I bought it for something else. But some of the apps that I use regularly, and Voodoo is one of them, doesn't work with this system. So for me, it's useless. So me saying to them, give me $60 back from what I spent and I'll keep the tablet, that was quite a concession on my part because I don't want this thing. It's not big enough, and it will not use the apps that I need it to use. So let's review, shall we? I was promised a Xiaomi tablet, and this is not Xiaomi. They tell me not to mistake it, but it says Xiaomi when you start it up. You've seen that. It doesn't work with a lot of the apps that I want to work with. They're, they're going to say that, well, you know, it's a Xiaomi, it's not, it's uh, this other thing, and, you know... AliExpress is just a marketplace. It's just a marketplace. And these vendors, you know, that, that's what they did. I know they're going to do that because they've already done it to me. When I disputed this thing, which is not even close to what I originally wanted and was offered, they just turned me over to the shop where I bought this from, the vendor that sold it. And all those text messages that you saw, the electronic messaging, that was from the shop that I bought this from, that promised all these other things and never delivered. It's, it's a sham. It's a scam. It's whatever other ams you want to say it is. They lied. And that's sad. If they had told the truth and offered it at a reasonable price, people will buy it. But you can't trust what's said. They're lying. And I've shown that. I've shown you what was promised. And I showed you what I got. And this is not even half of what the other tablet was. Remember the USB-C? If you look at the end here... It's not on the left side, it's on the top. The Xiaomi Pad is supposed to have stereo speakers. This has got two speakers on this end. So if you've got it standing upright, you get a little bit of a stereo effect. But like this, there's no stereo effect. It just comes out of this side. So that was a lie. I showed you where it said free returns, and I told them, I have the screenshot. It said free returns. Nope. And I cannot get in touch with Ally Express to let them know what's going on, because they apparently don't care. They're just going to kick it over to the vendor. And the vendor is being rigid and unreasonable 
They're not going to back what they said. They're not going to back anything of what they advertised for sale. They lied. So really, you can't trust the description. Ally Express has got a lot of stuff that advertised. It looks really good, and the prices look fantastic, but you can't trust what it says. Because you send your money, and who knows what you'll get. And when you're dealing with people like that, even if I returned the pad the way that they said, and I paid for the shipping, and that's not going to be cheap, let me tell you. I've already looked up some prices. It's going to be expensive. But even if I did that, well, what are they going to say? Oh, we didn't get it back. Oh, uh, no, you sent us the wrong thing. That's not what we sent to you. Well, uh, they're in China. What am I going to do about it? So I can't trust them to keep their word about what they offer or about their service. And their customer service is basically non-existent because they're just going to let the shop you bought it from deal with you. And the shop you bought it from isn't going to do a thing because they want your money. Once they got their your money, they're not going to give it back. And I can't trust them to send it back because who knows what they'll do then. Then they'll have a tablet that they can resell, and they'll have my money. And what am I going to do about it? Nothing. Because there's nothing I can do about it, except to put this warning out there. After everything I've said, if you go to Ally Express, and you look around, you go, Oh, this looks great. I'll buy this. Just know, you're probably not going to get what is offered. You're probably going to be paying more than what you're getting. And you can find something comparable on other sites than this. Yes, I'm a little perturbed, you could say. I'm just frustrated, really. It doesn't have to be this way. It just is. Anyway, that is my review of not only this Mi Pad 5. It's not an absolutely horrible tablet. Uh, if you pick one up for a child so that if they destroy it or it gets lost or stolen, whatever, you're not out a whole lot of money, but you will be out some. And for people nowadays, I know it's true for me, the money I spent on this was a lot. It would have been a really good price for what was offered, but it is far too much for this thing. These are also for sale on eBay. You can find them on eBay. Of course, it doesn't say Xiaomi there, because if it did, eBay would stop them. But it still says some of the other things that are lies about it. So I'm going to let eBay know. I'm going to let PayPal know, because that's how I paid for this thing, through PayPal. I'm going to let them know. So take my warning, take my advice, call it what you will. If you're looking for something and you want to buy something directly from China, try to find a place called GearBest. I think it's still in business. It might not be. It may have closed recently. But GearBest, their stuff's a little more expensive, but you can trust what the description is. As far as that goes, try Banggood. Banggood is okay. doesn't have the selection. Prices are a little higher. But I've never had a problem with being lied to from Banggood, and their customer service is, is decent. But if you want my advice, don't buy one of these things, and don't do business with Ally Express. That's my opinion, and I'm going to hold to it, and I hope you do too. Thank you again for your attention, 
and for paying attention while I'm doing this video, even though it's not as polished as what I typically like. I hope everyone has a good day and safe shopping.